very good afternoon my name is Alok Shrivastava from Network Nut. so once upon a time after a long time yeah so what I'm going to tell you in this video so I hope you all can see it's a rel 7 machine beautifully configured not beautifully configured I, I hadn't configured anything in this so and I'm going to tell you a very small but interesting thing that will that is actually annoying couple of people's about the NIC naming so if you notice I'll just do a screen clear here if I give a if config here the NIC naming convention is very different it gives so this is not the old or the classic naming convention so where is my it's zero it's one oh my god what happened to that it's zero it and it one actually what happened is that under the classic naming schemes means the the time when we used to see it zero and and it and it one here the NIC naming scheme is applied by the kernel and the kernel start assigning the names like it zero it one as soon as the other interfaces are probed by the drivers right but the, you cannot control the driver probing and especially in case of the uh, modern hardware when you when you have got couple of embedded or onboard NICs available so the probing of the driver is not predictable so that means it can happen that your it zero become it one and your it one become it zero so that is one of the problems that they have changed it in, uh, into the new naming convention that's fine all said and done but I don't want this I have a single server I have a single machine I want my trusted and old it's zero it one back so the point is how to do that so let's learn how to revert to the old classic naming convention in rel 7 it's very simple three steps number one number one step is you just need to change two kernel arguments to your grub file so I hope you all know the default grub file here is etc default grub so I just open this file etc default grub and in the grub command line you see this line yeah go to the end and just pass two kernel arguments here one is disable the bios dev name so and net interface name zero right net dot if name zero and also disable the bios dev name is equal to zero that's it you i just pass these two kernel parameters net if name zero and bios dev name zero let me just make it more clear yeah that's i think makes more sense so these are the two kernel parameters that i have passed here right save and come out you can use any of your favorite editors because you have done changes in, in the grub so you need to regenerate the grub file so there's a very simple command grub2 mkconfig right overwrite the boot grub and grub.cfg so i'm regenerating the grub file because i have done some changes in in the grub config you will see these kinds of messages here which is fair enough so i had done that changes I had reconfigured or regenerated the grub file and then the last thing that I need to do is that go to your etc sysconfig network scripts and and, 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 and this is your your uh, interface name if you see here 16 ending with 736 so this is a file rename this file to it's zero so just copy this just I'll uh, just copy this I'll do a CP to IFCFG it's zero and then open this file IFCFG it's zero right and change the name to it's zero can you see it just need to change the name to it zero so what I will do I'll just for your reference I'll just comment this out and change it to it zero that is it right so this is on boot I can say it yes 
let's not touch anything else so save and come out and let me do a reboot here so once the machine is re rebooted i hope i will get rid of this the new naming convention and my trusted old nic naming convention will be back just do a reboot here and then wait perfect let me start and my fingers are crossed who are let's see let's see let's see what happens just a moment the machine will be back right in a jiffy so let me log in now and check it though it's a very small video but it can be very useful and a handy trick if you want to revert to the old classic naming convention and you don't want to use the new naming convention based on the bios or the location of the physical devices though, th though there are a couple of ad advantages in using the new naming convention uh, so if i open the terminal right now i switch on to root though it is not required I give I have config I've got it's zero wow this is great not great it's very small tip and trick but I won't recommend you actually doing this on your production server because in the production servers it it might happen as I had told you earlier also the reason behind going to the new naming con uh, like convention was because your it's zero was becoming it one and it one can become it's zero so it can do play a dramatic means your the like the way your ip table will will uh, behave the rules will be all hay all haywired but in case you want to go for that you want to revert to the old naming con uh, naming convention this is the way to do it very simple step first step change your uh, grub pass to arguments uh, net dot if names is equal to zero in, in and then bios dev name should be zero by default which is by default zero then change regenerate your grub file and then change the name of your interface file and reboot the machine so i hope you like this video it's a very small one and though I've, after a long time i'll try to come up with more videos on uh, openstack uh, these this is the thing that you actually need to learn openstack these days and, and the cloud storage so next for the next time thank you very much god bless take care bye bye just a moment please how to shut down this video oh my god i forgot this oh my god oh my god let me stop this now